The following is a story I found while browsing the Servivalist Boards forum with the original title, Story of Mine from about 10 years ago, can anyone help me identify this animal? About 10 years ago when I was 18, me and my father went on a hunting trip in West Georgia to celebrate during my birthday weekend. The trip was in September. Bordering on October by a few days. One of the things I had gotten for my birthday was an old double-barrel shotgun I'd gotten from my grandma. Her dad had given it to her when she was younger, and she had only ever used it recreationally and as a just-in-case home defense weapon. My dad had bought her a little 9mm to keep in her bedside table the year prior, so she gave me the shotgun as a gift for hunting use. My dad cleaned it the night before the trip and had bought brand new boxes of birdshot and buckshot. He would be taking his Colt .45 and most of the gear. I was bringing the double barrel and a small sack of food and bug spray. We set out at 7 the next morning. Getting in his pickup and going to a friend of the family's place. His name I'll keep private. But he has about 40 acres of land of mostly trees and creeks. He gave us permission to hunt on the land and he would be on the lookout in case we needed help. When we arrived we went inside his house. We spoke with him and his wife for a while. She made breakfast while my dad talked with them. I mostly pet their dog and fed him bits of toast. When we got done eating we set out going north. That way we'd have the smallest chance of accidentally going off his property. We walked and hiked for about 45 minutes before the whales started. They were pretty eerie. But I and most people around here were used to noises like that coming from the woods. My dad reassured me it was just an animal making a noise and not to freak out. We saw a deer after a few more minutes of hiking about 11 yards out. He plinked at it and missed, at least for what we know. The deer didn't stay too long. We hiked for about another hour when the wailing started up again. This time it was noticeably closer to us. That's pretty close. Load you some buckshot. I loaded the double barrel with two rounds of buckshot and took it off safety. Not two minutes go by and the wailing is suddenly right next to us. I looked around. The wailing lasted for much longer this time. Whereas before it was two or three short wails times with breaks a few seconds apart in between them. It was now one continuous wail that lasted upwards of 20 seconds. The wail faded and echoed around us, and I kept looking around and behind us. Despite how close it sounds. We don't see any animals. Besides some skinny trees and a bit of dead underbrush. There was seemingly nowhere for the animal to be but up or somehow further away. I apparently got the first idea to look up. Nothing. After a few seconds of scanning the trees I heard some rustling in the leaves on the ground. There was a pretty thick layer of dead leaves on the ground everywhere since it was fall. About 9 feet out and facing northeast from us there was a lump about the size of a raccoon moving under the leaves. I raised my gun and shot it once. The thing, whatever the heck it was, started screeching. The whale started up again further away, I guess maybe a half mile or a mile. I shot it again and that time it stopped screeching. It made a low squealing noise and started twitching. My dad told me we should probably, in his words, fuck off before mother nature kills a rasses. We didn't leave before my dad went over and put another round in the lump under the leaves. I got a glimpse of its fur, which looked jet black. I couldn't tell if it had a pattern as there was blood all over the small part I could see. Me and my dad practically ran back. Taking a break to eat about halfway back. We leaned up against a tree. Me looking south back to the house and him facing the wailing. I ate some beef jerky and drank a coke. He ate some beef jerky too and we started going again. We'd reloaded our guns and he made sure to keep an eye out behind us. Eventually the wailing died down completely and we relaxed a bit. He told me a few stories to pass time while we walked. Just as he was starting a story about his high school's greatest senior prank. The wailing picked up again really close to us. My dad fired a warning shot at the ground and we started legging it. My dumbass was fumbling to get ear protection in because apparently being chased by a mystery wailing animal isn't scary enough to be priority over potential hearing loss. 
Apparently we were closer to house than we thought, because my dad's friend came running out with his .223. He said he had heard us shooting close to the house and wanted to make sure we were okay. We went inside and got situated around their fireplace telling them about the story. They suggested a raccoon that had been resting under the leaves to keep warm, or maybe a possum. He suggested it could have been a small alligator. Seeing as there was a creek nearby and it was able to take two rounds of buckshot. When I told him it had black fur he said it's possible I miss saw black scales as fur. I accept the possibility. But I swear it had fur. I've told this story before and a lot of people try to convince me I'm bullshitting. But I know what happened. If you have any idea what animal that was please let me know.